Do relationships really have to be that complicated or do we sometimes make them more complicated than they really are? Is it possible that a person can sometimes read into something to be favorable in their mind and because it is in their mind that they want to be convincing to someone else's mind that they are the one for them? But what is is a situation and this this man we talking about that man y'all may know that man in your own lives whoever that man might be you may be an associate of the girlfriend the homegirl your good friend your bff your associate co-worker because sometimes co-workers get to talking too much too on the job and she's just studied going on and on and on on about the love of her life who she presumes in her mind but at the same time it's like common sense starts to read into this by what the person is saying by what actions that the person is showing of this person they're just not that interested in you they have moved on they don't want you like you want them When a person is presenting themselves in good favor to be that man, to be that one by your side, that showering you with love, that's protecting you, that's elevating you, that you can feel that real love. It's no convincing. He knows who he wants. He knows who he wants to be with. He knows how to give the go ahead. Let's do this. However, that relationship situation is going to be desired. What direction is it going to go into? It's already been read. He's already let that person know. But unfortunately, there again. When a person thinks, oh, I can change him. Oh, I can help him to see that I am the better woman. Why you want to sit up there, some women want to sit up there and compete. And really, in actuality, they're competing with themselves to think. Because now this gets a little tricky too. When men get to talking about their friends such and such, who is a female, their other friends. When he has not made it plain Because when a man wants to be with a woman, he will elevate that woman into that position that they have made an agreement with. Now, you may not have even heard it verbally, you know, if you haven't taken that oath under God, so to speak. But if if it is a conversation that you have talked about, if it is actions that um, he has produced, if he has made it plain verbally, okay, with or without the oath being taken, in a relationship, when it's all respect, all love, things will fall into place. But if you have in the back of your mind something still just isn't right, chances are it isn't right. Like you can feel things in your heart. You can sense things when you truly are the one that he wants to be with. The love of his life. Like, it's different, I believe, cycles that people do go through. Now, they may have thought at that time that was the love of their life. You, yourself, she, her, right there, uh uh-huh, may have thought that that is the love of your life. But there again, there's different rotations. In other words, you don't have to settle. You don't have to settle to convince in your mind he is the one. You don't have to. You, it's okay to be real with yourself. It is okay when somebody has to take a moment, even if somebody is keeping it real with somebody, to say, girl. Now, I'm not saying, you know, it's good to hurt people's feelings. I'm not saying that. I mean, we should have a emphatic side to us. But some people have to go through the motions. But it's it's a good thing when it's like, when you can accept how somebody truly feels and they have expressed it, but you know, sometimes men won't always flat out say it, 
but like I said, you can feel it because you start getting that run around. You start getting, you know, put into position where it's like he's unavailable or it's just the, the connection, the, the conversation is not there. The mind is not being stimulated like, like it once was. He acting like your food don't taste as good like it once did. And hey, you may not even be the best cook, so to speak. But at the time, he was one to enjoy it because who the hands that it was being prepared by, the one that he's spending time with, the conversations that was once being engaged about. That's the time when all of this is going on, all this rhetoric, when you know it, it just ain't working. That's the time for that individual to take themselves to become a better version of themselves. That's that time when that self-love, self-respect to know who you are, the value that you possess, that that individual possess, because all along, that may not be the right person, even though, again, that person may have had it embedded in their brain that he's the one. Then it's such a trip to like when things, you, you know, you just have to accept some things. And when it, it is accepted, it may not be accepted fully to come to terms with, oh, my gosh, she's really moved on. But you start seeing this person. Oh, don't let it be a public person. Don't let it be a public person. It's bad enough, you know, when people want to peek in on people's social media um, channels, social media pages, so to speak. But a celebrity? Oh, Lord, have mercy. And we ain't got to say no names on that to know who people sometimes are. But again, it's a level two Everyday people, because before these people was these celebrities, so-called celebrities in, in some people's eyes with some people, they was just everyday people. And to me, people are, are people, you know, I don't put people on these pedestals and all that stuff, but people are people. But it's just more people that might know you, more people that might be into certain ones business and more people that gives an opinion on people's personal situations when it's already things that we as individuals already have to work with. And sometimes when we do know things, depending on who we are in contact with, there is a way to communicate with people. But don't get me wrong, not everybody wants people's advice, not everybody wants people's opinions. And that is okay, because people have to go through cycles how they see fit to get their own deliverance when they have to understand he's not into you anymore. He's moved on. Let that man be happy doing him and you can be happy doing you and there may be someone for you it's a good chance but how will you ever find out if you're study clinging on to what coulda woulda shoulda in people's mind when it's said that life goes on it, it truly is it's, it's a process it's, it's a journey of its own we don't have it all figured out but as long as we hear it's always going to be perspectives to things but everybody has to do what's best for them but why make yourself sick in a situation to believe something something that just isn't there anymore or if it really was or if it was just for that moment Sometimes you just, it ain't even worth even trying to overthink, but just to be in the moment at that very moment to know what to do, what is best for you, putting yourself first.